50 hours in, I thought this is it. I consider myself a mentally strong person. This, it, it was tough. It's like days I do. I started running with my daughter Alana. She was born with spastic quadriplegia cerebral palsy. Um, so I used to go out walking with her at night. Realised that she loved that, so then we just eventually just moved into running. But she passed away six weeks after uh, Dublin City Marathon. Just for me, my own sake and my own mental health, um, I kept on running and I just started to go more into ultra marathon distance and longer each time. This is my first uh, last one standing. It's 4.1 miles every hour and it just keeps going until there's only one person left. Yeah, and you can run it as fast or as slow as you want, as long as you're back in the corral at the top of every hour to go again. You know, it was a new test for me to see how far that I could push myself. My, my plan was to run, try and grab 10 minutes sleep, or try to grab something to eat. One hour you could be fine, and the next hour you're complete opposite. And that will just keep swapping over. I hit 50 hours. And I thought, that's it, my race is finished. And I got up to go again on the next loop. I was like, completely different person. And you see people walking up to the line and you're going, well, I, ha I have to go as well, <laughs> Do you know? There was four of us were there for, I think it was a good on 20 hours. As the race went on and we did drop down, you know, you sort of start to think like, just what's it going to be like to win this? Thirty-eight years of age. I never once thought I'd start breaking national records. Like I'm here to, you know, enjoy myself, enjoy life. It's sort of looking at going. What can I do next now? Mm -hmm.